when I was very young, you were the first, one of the first, I would say, um, great stand-ups that I ever met. And, you know, I've had the privilege subsequently to meet, you know, Billy and other great American comics and stuff. And I, like when I met you, you won't remember, I, I wouldn't imagine, but like uh, you said, like, don't, and I, I wouldn't have done a hundred gigs yet. I would have done about five. And you said, don't judge yourself until you've done a hundred gigs. Right. So I thought, wow, well, the pressure's off. I've got a hundred gigs. And I, I tell that now to whenever I meet young stand-ups or aspiring stand-ups, I tell them, Eddie Izzard told me, don't judge yourself till you've done a hundred. So like, I put that out there. Good. And yeah, 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 I passed that on. And like, so like, I was always able to devote and dedicate attention and energy to the pursuit of an objective, you know, around creativity. And it was obvious that you had like, like Noel Fielding always says that Eddie's like uh, the kind of, uh, he's just sort of like the, general or like sort of army drill sergeant that controls all of us and tells us right you've all got to go to europe and do gigs in other countries you've all got to learn another language no fielding like jokes about that a lot and um, we all regard you i think as a sort of outlier and force but but it being so literally applied in an endurance medium such as the marathons that you're doing that I find it, I mean, that's some serious stuff. I hope I get there, Eddie. I hope I get there. 